People often say, out of sight, out of mind. There is a lot more to this you just might find. While some of us live with the ocean at its closest, more than half the world's population leave it unnoticed. 80% of the ocean is unexplored and unobserved, and we are fighting a battle to keep it conserved. There are nations across this planet that have little to no clue. Without the sea at their doorstep, there's no doubt they share a different view. Out of sight and out of mind, perhaps they can't see what's occurring. Right before them, creatures across oceans are starving and hurting. To so many of us, the ocean is a refuge. It's no surprise the tragic facts are bound to upset you. While a simple swim at the beach can bring us so much joy, there are countless landlocked cities full of people that are void of this understanding and connection to the salt water we crave. And with that, they don't see that it needs to be saved. We live off the ocean and connect with it every day. Those who are not so lucky cannot yet see it the same way. The sand, mud and salt water are a completely foreign concept. Without bringing forward more attention, there may be nothing left. Nothing left to fight for, nothing to protect. No more refuge, no more joy. This is something I cannot accept. Everyone comes from the ocean and are connected to it somehow. Even if they don't know it, they must realise it now. The oceans are under stress and are rapidly dying. The fight is happening now. We just need the whole world trying. We learn about the world from so-called teachers when all we need to be listening to are the ocean's very own creatures. Fast reefs of coral are bleaching. They are crying out for help. You only need to listen and you'd see it for yourself. Reefs are no longer colourful and teeming with life. Populations are now disappearing before your very eyes. Countless shark species are culled at rates nothing short of immoral. What was once a wonder of the world, now devoid of coral. We are left with nothing but reminders in their skeletons of an ecosystem once thriving, alluring and elegant. An entire universe that lives below the surface. We take it for granted, unaware of its purpose. The ocean has the power to feed the entire earth. We don't give it the respect, even close to what it's worth. Some people around the world don't understand what is at stake. I want my kids to see the real ocean, not something artificial and fake. It's not just that, it feeds us on a global scale and generates more than half of the oxygen that we inhale. In the big picture, it dominates the regulation of our climate and this is why we must no longer stay quiet. As a human race, we rape and pillage a world we barely understand. I can't believe that the world right now can be how it was planned. But it is not too late for this fight we have not lost. More people are realising what our actions really cost. A future without the oceans, humans cannot thrive. I know for a lot of us, the sea is where we feel most alive. We all rely on the ocean, whether you know it or not. I don't want to tell my kids the ocean was something that we forgot. We must scream and yell for the creatures without a voice. We must take advantage, for today we have a choice. There are so many ways, big or small, for everyone to make a difference. Even the littlest things are exponentially greater than ignorance. So much as even picking up that rubbish on the beach. You'd be surprised just how far a small change can reach. The ocean is vast and incredibly unexplored. The sad thing is, by many, it is rejected and ignored. Out of sight, out of mind. This is the problem in one statement. Changes need to happen now. The ocean has no replacement.